New at 11, a Palm City family is thankful to be unharmed tonight after an armed man tried to break into their home. Thanks to a vigilant neighbor, that suspect is behind bars now. News Channel 5's Alyssa Heinemann joins us from Palm City Live, where the drama unfolded. Alyssa? David Rizzo says the man trespassed into this gated community, started to dart in between these homes, broke through his screened in patio, and it was all thanks to a watchful neighbor that no one got hurt. It's not even that it was caught. He pulled all the, the, the rubber seal off the screen. David Rizzo's screen is still broken after sheriff's deputies say Brian Briggs tried to break into Rizzo's Highland Reserve home. Dead, and he must have came right through here. Late Thursday night. I was basically in shock thinking I'm watching the basketball game with my 16 year old daughter and they just grabbed the guy with a loaded gun ready to come in my house. Deputies found Briggs with a handgun and a billy club. I mean, he might have been three feet from me. Deputies say Briggs was looking for his estranged wife who works for Rizzo. Both have company cars and deputies believe Briggs thought his wife was there. I was probably in shock for a good 10 minutes. Rizzo says if it wasn't for a very astute neighbor. It was all because of the neighbor. Who noticed Briggs tailgating into his gated community, turned his lights off and started darting between the homes. I've never seen him before and he was just acting really shady. But his headlights off, you know. The situation could have turned out much differently. It's amazing to have neighbors and stuff that are looking out for what's going on because, in general, people kind of let things go, and that was fantastic. Now, Briggs is still in jail tonight. A, a judge denied him bond. He is charged with armed trespassing. Now, Rizzo, however, is still frustrated tonight. He actually tried to get a restraining order, but a judge denied him that. He is still trying to get that restraining order, concerned that his family still may be in danger. We're reporting live in Palm City, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.